massive upset as well. Uh, Ronnie Rios uh, beat uh, Diego De La Hoya uh, to take the gold uh, super bantamweight um, title. Now, Diego uh, De La Hoya is a, somebody that's very highly touted. They were, they were building him to be a huge star. Um, and it was a good fight, back and forth. They were both going at each other. Uh, they were both really um, fighting well. Ronnie Rios was doing uh, a lot better than what I expected, but most people expected Diego De La Hoya to get the job done and, and finish off uh, Ronnie Rios uh, in, emph in emphatic fashion. Unfortunately, the fight didn't materialize like that. It got really hard for De Diego De La Hoya, and Ronnie Rios was really putting it on him, hitting, catching him with some big, big shots. And um, he was really making it un life uncomfortable for Diego De La Hoya. And I don't think Diego De La Hoya was expecting the fight to be so tough. Uh, he definitely wasn't. I think he thought that, you know, he would get this guy out of there quite comfortably. Uh, it didn't materialize like that. And um, De La Hoya was shipping a lot of punishment as well. It was back and forth action. How we see when we, when we see the smaller guys fight. They were both, both going, getting, uh, going back and forth. Both hitting each other with significant shots. And in the sixth round, I believe, Diego De La Hoya uh, got caught with an uppercut and he went down. He went down and it, lo it looked like he stayed out for the count. He got back up and it seemed to me like he quit. And uh, he, got a lot of, he got a lot of stick, uh, Diego De La Hoya. I don't like qu saying fighters quit. Um... In this situation, it did look like, you know, if you're say if, if a lot of you have all, always criticized Khan saying that Khan quit against Crawford, then this was even worse than that. Um, you know, Khan got hit in the nuts. This guy got hit with an uppercut and he didn't want to know after that. Um, so I think it, I think it was uh, disappointing, if I'm honest with you. Very disappointing because, like I said, when you're a hot prospect, you know, uh, coming up to... You know, well, Khan, you know, for someone like Khan was at the end of his career. Um, so, you know, it's it's not as damaging. You know, he never, he, Khan always showed a warrior heart when he was fight, when he was fighting, when he was young. He's a lot older now. He's at the twilight of his career. This guy's young. He's fresh. He's a hot prospect. For you to quit in this situation is going to be damaging for your career moving forward because the fans are, go are not going to forgive you for that. And unfortunately, um, for... Diego De La Hoya, this, is, this stain is going to stay with him probably for the rest of his career. Uh, referee did say at the end that he did say he didn't want to continue. And that's why the referee stopped the fight. You know, Diego De La Hoya told the referee he doesn't want to continue. Maybe this is when we find out how much these hot prospects want it, how much heart they got, how much of that warrior instinct is in there. And unfortunately, Diego De La Hoya did not show that on the weekend. But leave your thoughts. Let me know what you think, guys, in the comment section below. And guys, remember to please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you guys in the next video.